give a warm welcome to Joel Hansen, guys. Make some noise back again. And we're going to bring in his competition for the day, brought to you by the bull himself. 20 tacos. Count them. Count them. It's like chicken nuggets. You want to make sure they're all tender there. <laughs> Today we are going to be in Yakima, Washington. Yes, Yakima, Washington at Bullseye Burger taking on their taco challenge. Yes, so this is a large taco challenge and which has a $50 cash prize. So it's freaking awesome. So you may remember this place. I came here and did a viral burrito challenge. I've also done a burger challenge here. They have so many different food challenges at this location. I love it here. The food is great. They have great Mexican food, great burgers, great everything. And what's really cool is it's located in a gas station. Staff are really cool as well. So for today's challenge, we're going to have 15 minutes. Yes, just 15 minutes to eat 20 of their double wrapped Mexican style street tacos. I know I'm going to get a bit by flavors, so I'll go figure that out. Uh, but that's about that. So let's go get some uh, food. Let's have some fun. So like I said, basically 15 minutes, prize of free meal and 50 bucks. And uh, yeah, so let's go eat some tacos. I'll give you some info. Let's go eat. All right, everyone. So here we are with the tacos, a very nice looking spread. I went mostly with the carne asada, which is the beef as per the recommendation. Then I have some pollo, some chicken, also some pork. Um, so yeah, 20 tacos, 15 minutes. Definitely a lot of food. They are dressed with onions, cilantro, uh, very traditional kind of Mexican uh, toppings. They are a double shell tortilla. Um, looks really, really good though. I'm super excited. Again, only 15 minutes to do so. If we do, we do get the meal for free and that $50 cash prize. So, we'll get started here just momentarily. Good luck, sir. Thank you. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be able to, to do whatever you need to do to get those down. Well, I got 15 minutes to eat them, so that's the, that's the main goal. Hopefully we will be able to eat the 20 tacos. Oh. Are you guys good for, we can start it whenever? All right. Count up. Guys, make some noise. Three, two, one. Yeah. All righty. Well, number one was easy. Let's see how number two goes down. Yeah. Looks like he's got a mix of all the, all the available tacos here. Pork, carne asada, chicken. Topped with everything you can get. Don't forget the radishes. Those are the best part. <laughs> I know, it's the worst part. <laughs> I don't think he's got to finish the <laughs> That foil has to go down too, just letting you know. Uh, that's part of the challenge. <laughs> don't tempt him. <laughs> oh, they got no feelings. <laughs> oh, man. Just mowing through the first five, it looks like five, six. By the way, if you need five tacos there, five for I'm just <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Zuber. Today we are here at Bullseye Burger in Yakima, Washington, taking on one of their d uh, awesome food challenges, this being their taco challenge, being the 20 tacos in 15 minutes. These are a Mexican street style taco. We did get to pick the flavors and meats. And what was really cool and very special on this day was the owner was there and he said, if I could beat the record, which he would not tell me what it was. So if I could beat the unknown record, he would actually make the $50 prize a $400 prize. So now we were trying to beat this unknown record and get $400 for this challenge. Unofficial is here's the 10th taco. That's just unofficial. We're less than two minutes in. Oh, minute 30 in and he's halfway done, folks. I know that that record is not very, the time is very high on the record, but I think that record might go down to there. Good thing they got universal health care in Canada. <laughs> Here we go. So not only is he eating 10, 10, 20 tacos, he's got a half a jar of salsa on those tacos. And wow. Just over two minutes in, guys. 2.15 and 2.20. All right, 
right, let's Here go. Let's go. go. Let's you know, go. Let's 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 go. let us go let us go let us go let us go let us Everybody's amazing. Yeah. Come on, about three minutes in, guys. Very, very good. The pork was delicious. The carne asada was very delicious. They want me to be a wow. record, which I don't even know what it is, so I'm trying to go quick, so just keep it up. <laughs> He's so good, he stops and gives his own cameos, which is wild. <laughs> he said. <laughs> Come more left, guys. Come more left, not even four minutes in. You know, there's people that come sit down here and get sick, can't even finish half the play. In the 15 minutes, just saying. See if we can get Joel back for the 4th of July hot dog eating contest. I'm sure he's booked somewhere already, but we'll see if we can get him down here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Is that the last one? Clap it up, guys. Make some noise. I'm gonna tell you about the last tortillas. He's gonna clean up the rap. Oh, he's not gonna clean up the rap. <laughs> yeah. All right, time. Woo! Wow. Three fifty-eight. Three minutes and fifty-eight seconds. Bro. For all the tacos, and now we just. All right, just just so everybody knows, the record was actually seven minutes thirty seconds. Seven minutes thirty yeah. seconds. Yeah. No blows it out of the water. He beat it by almost four minutes. Crazy. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right. Wow. Yeah. Very delicious. Very very delicious. The radishes, the uh, limes are just for garnish. I will say though, that was fantastic. I really enjoyed the tacos. I love that style of the kind of like that street style, that Mexican taco, corn tortillas, delicious meat. If you come by, definitely try the carne asada. Definitely try the pork. Very delicious. The chicken was really good as well. Um, so if you have a meal for free, we get 50 bucks, which is pretty cool. So and apparently we got a new record. So official time was just under four minutes. By the time I actually swallowed everything, about four and a half. So choose whatever you will. But huge thanks to everybody here, guys. The staff are awesome. Um, veteran owned. Yakima is known for its military base. Um, <coughs> apparently hops as well for beer. So I gotta say, huge thanks to everybody here. Really, really awesome. Thank you for coming out, everybody. Really oh, appreciate it. Nice. And at that, so uh, that's pretty much it. Of course, the next time, say happy, the hungry, happy eating. That's about it, if you're in Yakima. Excuse me. Comments to chef. Stop on by Bullseye Burgers here. It is on Fire Firing Center Road. Yes. In, in the in the Chevron, which is really cool. It's a really unique location. They also have my favorite, the Coke Freestyle Machine. So you have like a thousand different flavors. I might have a thousand different flavors in front of me. So it's next time, everybody. That's about it. Of course. Have a little bit. Guys, I challenged Joel that he couldn't beat it. Obviously, I was wrong. So he gets paid. Here's the, here's the cash for the Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Side of Portland heading to Yakima, Washington. So really only about maybe like 40 minutes outside the city. And look at these giant, 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 massive mountains we are seeing. They are covering like 
well, some, this one kind of dead trees, but moss, green. We've seen some little waterfalls along here, these big rock cliffs. To be honest, it almost reminds me of like a movie. I think like, almost like King Kong, to be honest. It's a little bit of a like clouded over day, which I think adds to the eerie nature of it. Then we look over here, we have more water, more mountains. It's very impressive, very beautiful, very green. Look at all the cliffs like that, they're all greened up. But uh, yeah, it's super, super beautiful. This is a very pleasant drive. Again, I can understand why people want to drive through Oregon. And again, this is not um, through the coast. This is heading east from Portland, essentially. So I thought it was just the coastal parts of Oregon, because that's normally what I hear about, the Oregon coast. Um, but it is furthermore than that. Let's see. Um, as we approach, maybe this bend, maybe we'll get uh, another view of something. Um, but yeah, just stunningly beautiful, stunningly gorgeous. Very cool. And still cruising up into, well, into Washington from Oregon. We have some very beautiful waters. We have some more big mountains that is clearing up. Here's some of these great big uh, kind of hills that you'll see here in five seconds when the light kind of goes on that hill a little better. Um, but in the meantime, look at the beautiful water. Here's going to count some of these very green uh, mountain -y sides that I was talking about. All the moss and everything. Looks really cool. Hard to see with the light I, in the window, I do admit. But nonetheless, definitely a cool looking like rock face. And here's another one. Obviously these ones, they've done some blasting it looks like for the roadway and the railway. But yeah, very, very pleasant, cool, 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 cool drive. So still driving east in Oregon and we're getting a little less green, a little more brown. Um, interesting thing is, like I've never been to Scotland admittingly, but it just looks like, I don't know, people are like Scotland or somewhere like that where we have this, you know, kind of, I don't know, slightly yellowy grassy colors, some of these cliffs. And then like you see the way this grass kind of looks something like that, like, like this. It reminds me of like, I don't know, Scotland or Ireland or somewhere that I've seen pictures of. Um, so yeah, pretty cool looking, definitely diverse. It's been quite a drive, or definitely quite a drastic change in scenery, which is really unique. Um, but yeah, lots of water, been beautiful drive. And I tell you, Oregon, you got some, uh, you got some beauty. Oregon got some natural beauty. All right, everybody, and here we are up in Washington. We just crossed from Oregon to Washington. Look at the difference. Like, literally, we're just barely into Washington. Look at the difference of how different this looks. It looks so much more wintry, a lot less green. Um, you know, kind of the grass and the small roughage is dead. We just basically have the evergreen trees, uh, which are obviously alive and green. This is the evergreen state, but then the normal trees, which would normally have traditional leaves are all bare so pretty crazy how you can essentially just cross a little bit of a border the temperature dropped a couple degrees but nothing drastic but uh just you know a few miles a few whatever and big difference so washington is winter oregon debatably not right now we are pulling into yakima and there's big black smoke coming from the road everybody uh questionable vehicle fire um yeah, this is interesting. Um, we'll get as close as we can here and try to determine what exactly is going on. I can't tell if traffic is completely stopped. Are they crossing it all? So something is definitely burning in the middle of the road. Some pylons and there is a car coming with the four ways on. Definite okay. fire. So they're definite vehicle fire. Crossing. Yeah, I mean, something's on fire. Something black smoke like that on the road. Wow. It's a good sign. Um, I mean, it's a... Anyway, does it look like it's moving? No. No? Oh, here we go. Here we go, guys. We're about to see what it is. Holy sh jumpets. Yeah, that is a... A vehicle on fire. A 
Vehicle on fire to say the least. I got ready just casually going by. Man, their truck blew up. Man. Well, that, I could feel that heat. RV? Yeah? Jeez, man, that's that's unfortunate. Well, God be with them, everybody. That is uh, somebody's truck on fire. <laughs>